have received while busking. Quarters, nickels, loonies, paper money, business cards, flowers. The little girl picked from a business's flower display. We played a song together. I formed the chords that she strummed, singing Taylor Swift as loud as those tiny lungs could handle. Cigarettes, candy, healing crystals, one for romance and one for stage presence. A portrait done with a sharpie, smiles. Smiles from old people who sway and sing along to Delta Dawn. Smiles from little kids who pull crazy breakdance moves on the sidewalk, or who hang out car windows waving frantically at red lights. A leather jacket, a palm reading, a pack of gum. Requests for Wonderwall. <laughs> so many requests from one, for Wonderwall. The other night I was busking and this guy came up and asked for Wonderwall, so I started playing and he started singing and all of these people started coming in from the street until I had an entire drunken choir of guys swaying and singing Wonderwall and then they galloped off down Granville Street and uh, just don't be that guy. <laughs> Water, poetry, directions to a Sikh temple. When I told a coworker I was moving here, she said, well, how are you gonna support yourself? I said, well, I'll get a part-time job and I'll busk for grocery money. And she said, busking, isn't that, isn't that basically the same thing as prostitution? I mean, you're standing on the corner working for tips. First of all, you, you say that like sex work is always a bad thing. And second of all, no, guitars make sex difficult. Joints, thank yous. A piece of a cookie. Invitations. Invitations to shows and CD bars. Invitations to open mics. Invitations for adoption. Invitations for coffee, for beer, and to drive to Seattle. When you are busking, you are an open invitation. There's no fortress of counter and cash register to hide behind. Your smile is not a dress code, and your greeting is not company policy. Your eyes are open signs. Every instance of eye contact is a transaction. Busking seems to have a currency of connections, something people seem to be just as desperate for as money. My parents always told me things like, don't talk to strangers, and don't take candy from strangers, and don't get in strange vehicles with strangers, and I feel like don't take drugs from strangers, and don't get drunk from stra with strangers probably would have been on that list had they not thought it was obvious. <laughs> but I think that maybe we need to redefine stranger, because I don't know about you, but these people I meet with and talk to on the streets, I would sooner call friends. And the strangers, those are the coworkers who can't remember your name or the teachers who didn't care. Strangers are the people who cut you off at intersections or who hit on you at bus stops without bothering to get to know you. Strangers are the people who don't bother to get to know you. So next time you're walking down the street and come across a busker, try to pause. I think connection has a vulnerability that's just as hard to receive as it is to give. But maybe we all just want to feel the warmth of other people, feel a simple sort of substance, a small exchange of empathy. When I or anyone else is out there with our guitars, this is what we are offering. Our music is a vehicle to maybe make you feel something, smile a little, and maybe give a little in return, even if it's just a thank you. No, especially if it's just a thank you, a nod, a nickel, a dollar, paper money, palm reading, leather jacket, cigarette, candy, water, invitations, directions, poetry.